Risa Wayward, better known as Spyro, is a fictional character from the world of Marvel Comics. Her abilities consist of casting spells from dancing, as well as being able to open portals and gateways. She fought heroes such as the X-Men and first appeared as a lieutenant for Mojo Forces. She has dancing swords and metamorphosis. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, she's currently ranked as the sixth character in A tier. But even with her placement in the tier list, what is it that makes Spiral a worthy adversary? To understand this question, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play One. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play One. And this is Spiral Move List from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Spiral Moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, first let us take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Dancing Swords. This move is Spiral's projectile summons. To do this move, do a half circle back plus any punch button. When using the Dancing Swords, pressing the light punch button will let Spiral toss one blade at a time. The Dancing Sword summons can also be done in midair. Also, Spiral has special commands that allows her to throw the swords in various ways. To throw the swords forward, do a quarter circle forward plus light punch. To throw the swords up, do a quarter circle forward plus fierce punch. To throw the swords in a circular motion, do a quarter circle forward plus light kick. And to throw the swords in a multi angle direction, do a quarter circle forward plus fierce kick. Please keep in mind that the dancing swords and the sword throw commands can be done in mid-air all the same. Up next is the attack called the six hand grapple. This move is Spiral's command grab. To do the attack, do a dragon punch motion plus any punch button. So, the six hand grapple can be used as an anti air since Spiral will reach for an area foe. If you hold down while doing the six hand grapple, Spiral will throw the opponent directly below her. On the ground, there are some risks involved, being that it's a grapple move which is why this attack should be done at the end of area combos. Also, 
take caution while doing the move and make sure not to miss the opponent in the attempt to grab or you will be left wide open. The teleport dance is Spiral's teleportation ability. To do the move, do a quarter circle back plus light kick. The spiral will warp and teleport right above her opponent, and this is the default position. Also, pressing and holding the other attack buttons while teleporting will move Spiral to other destinations. After teleporting, holding light kick will teleport Spiral to the left on the ground. Holding light punch will teleport Spiral to the left in the air. Holding fierce punch will teleport Spiral to the right in the air. and holding fierce kick with teleport spiral to the right on the ground. Also, remember that the same applies when doing the teleport dance in midair. This move allows Spiral to fall from the sky at a faster rate. To do the descent dance, do a quarter circle back plus fierce kick. So, the descent dance is not an attack per se, but it does effectively get you out of the air. Spiral has two normal throws, press forward and fierce punch to execute her fierce punch throw. Press forward and fierce kick in midair for an aerial fierce kick throw. There we go. To do a triple arm strike, jump in with either light punch or light kick, then press down the light punch while in midair. To do the dual clock, press down plus first punch while in midair. And that's a very peculiar name for a move, Dual Clock. Spyro has one launcher in the game. Press down the fierce kick for the standard launcher. You can do Spiral's Taunt by pressing the Select button. Alternatively, hold Light Kick and press Start if you're playing the Dreamcast version. So, the first Hyper I would like to cover is called the Power Dance. This is a move where Spiral will perform a dance ritual to increase her attack power. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. The power dance lasts for about 8 seconds and you can see the remaining time left from the time bar. Also, Summer Spiral Attacks has an effect of slowing down the timer.
So the second hyper I would like to cover is called a speed dance. This is the move where Spiral will perform a dance ritual to increase her speed. To do the move, do a quarter circle back plus both kick buttons. The speed dance lasts for about 8 seconds and you can see the remaining time left from the time bar. Also, Summer Spiral Attacks has an effect of slowing down the timer. So, the third hyper I would like to talk about is called Metamorphosis. This is where Spiral attacks the opponent with a large combo while changing into everyone in the game while doing so. To do the Metamorphosis, do a quarter circle back plus both punch buttons then press punch while you near the opponent. While this hyper is highly devastating in attacking power, you have to make contact with the enemy or the move simply won't work. Also, to start this hyper, you need at least 3 levels of meter. Finally, the metamorphosis has a timer so you have to make contact with the opponent within this window. And from my understanding, the timer lasts for about 6 seconds, so yeah. So the final hyper I would like to discuss is called a Stampede Sword. This is the move where Spiral attacks with 3 groups of swords. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. This hyper is very straightforward and it does reasonable damage. The only real drawback that I see is that it's not combo friendly. Also, it would have been a plus if she could do this in midair. Here's what to expect when you use Spiral as an assist character. Spiral's alpha assist would do a light punch dancing sword. Her beta assist would use a fierce punch dancing sword. And her gamma assist will perform a standing fierce punch. Overall, Spiral is a trap based zoner style fighter. She is at her best whenever using the dancing swords to lock down the enemy. But it is for the same reason that her biggest weakness is reloading the swords. Also, make sure to use the teleport as well to help control space and range. She has many moves and different dances to enhance her abilities. Learn all of them in order to become a great spiral player. Well, with that being said, here are some tips to help out your gameplay with Spiral. Use Spiral Dancing Swords to lock down the enemy. Make sure to keep the Dancing Swords reloaded and ready. Speaking of the Dancing Swords, you can easily get off a 3 hit with Light Punch. Use this as a means to open up your opponent from any range. The best hyper to use is the Metamorphosis. It gives the highest damage output out of all of her hypers. Learn Spiral's teleportation and how to move on screen with it. Use this in tandem with the Dancing Swords to help zone and control space. Whenever using Spiral as an assist, make sure to use the Alpha one, which is the Light Punch Dancing Sword.
Well, that's it for this week's installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play 1. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.